Hello everyone and welcome. This is the tutorial for the floral carousel set. Uh, this is the throwback for February of 2023 and I'm going to show you how to put this together. So we're going to need a couple of things besides that uh, carousel horse set. Uh, what I'm using, and keep in mind that you can use whatever flowers and foliages you want. So this is just what I'm using and it's just to inspire you and then of course use what you have or use what inspires you. So I'm going to be using a couple of things from the Watercolor Flower Set 6. So one of these long stems here and this little guy right here. Of course any of these will work too. So if you have that set, any of those florals will work. Uh, in the mini flower set, we're going to use this little one right here, just a little pocket of dots. Uh, in the branches set, this one. In the foliage set five, we're going to use one of these trailers. Now you can use either the one going to the right or going to the left. Either one of those is going to work. And then in the flower set, uh, flower set one, 4052, we're going to be using the little daisy bunch. And then in foliage set four, uh, this little guy right here, and whichever is more comfortable for you, they go both directions, to the left and to the right. So I'm using this one, but you can use um, whichever one works best for you. So I've gone ahead and I pre-stamped my image, and I added the little banner that is the extra free set that comes, a uh, little free stamp that comes with this set. So if you purchase this throwback, you've also gotten this little banner. And um, I thought I would just include it in the tutorial and just show you how to, um, how you can put that together. So let's get going. I've inked it and stamped it in two colors, and those are our two basic colors that we use in most projects. Number 565, and I inked the whole thing in number 565, and then I went right over the top of it with the 969, and then I stamped it off. So I don't want too much ink in those lines. I want some. Uh, but not too much. So I stamped that off and now I have a really light image that still has a lot of ink in the lines. So we're gonna start out with step one and that is always to pull the color out of the lines. And that's exactly what we're doing. Now we're not gonna draw on top of the lines, we're gonna draw next to the lines with the water. And when you go next to the line, see how that pops up this little area right above here. So when you uh, when you add color or out when you add water like this, you're really changing this whole image. Just this one step really really makes a difference. So I'm just kind of following all of these different areas here and just uh, pulling this color out of the lines. And I'm going mostly from the bottom uh, because uh, I want. Um, I want all of these things to kind of pop up and you can see when you add that shadow to the bottom of this this little area here so his little this little part of his bridle you can see that that pulls uh, pops up this section and just you know keep pinching your brush off you don't want it to be too wet but you want to be able to pull that color out. And I'm just, I'm mostly pulling that color from the bottom because that's where the shadow would be. A little bit on the tail here. And really that, that's all we have to do right now to kind of get started. We don't have to do much with this little banner because we're gonna add some color to it. So, that will kind of take care of itself. And you can see already just doing this one step, how that has really changed um, this image. Really, really changed it. It now looks way more three-dimensional and we can kind of see what's going on here. So we've taken up a really flat line, line drawing and we've actually turned it into something three-dimensional already. So let's keep going here. We're gonna add some color, we're gonna add some florals. And uh, I think what we should do is, uh, we're gonna keep the horse white. So let's add some shadows now to the horse. And let's do that first. And then we'll start adding our florals and our other colors to the rest of it. So we're gonna take some of this dark blue. And by the way, this is the 565. So the 565 dark blue, we're just gonna take a little bit, so really, really light. And this leg back here, now the horse is white, so we're gonna be using the blue as a shadow. So this back here, 
this leg back here is gonna be darker in the shadow. And then back behind, so underneath, just like the way that we pulled the color out of the lines, you know, underneath here is where the shadow is gonna be. You know, under his, um, his little muzzle here, underneath his mane, you know, by his ears. And we can come back and do a little bit more of this, you know, when we're finished, if we feel like we need to. Just gonna make this just a little bit darker, just right up under here, where this leg is next to the other one. And you can see that's already um, adding more and more uh, dimension to the drawing. Okay, we've got a good start here. All right, now let's continue on here and we're gonna add some color now to the rest of um, his saddle and this little basket right here in the back. So I'm gonna add some brown now. This is uh, the number nine, 947. This is a really warm kind of a honey brown, 947. Uh, we're going to add a really pretty violet, 685. And a really pretty purple, 636. And that is going to get us started here. So let's just um, start out by adding some color now to, um, to the saddle. And we're just going to brush it on. Uh, start out light and then as soon as that's dry you can add another coat if you want to and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add some of this um, really pretty violet to the post as well just a little bit and now you can see this is this is dried so we're doing another coat I'm kind of leaving the top of the saddle um, a little lighter you can see the more that you um, the more passes that you make, the darker and more vibrant that color um, becomes. So just depending on what color you want, how, how dark you want that color is how many times you go over it with your brush. Okay, that looks good. And let's do uh, another part of this detail here. So let's take some of this, this really pretty violet and we're just gonna make some little stripes on his horn and add something decorative there. And then let's add something decorative here. Some of the stripes on here. And then I'm gonna take my bullet tip of that same pen and just add some detail right here where this buckle is. And you can see on the little post here, I really, I left a little highlight on there. That's really important to do uh, because this little post, you know, the little ball on top is rounded. And so we're gonna see a, we're gonna see a highlight on that. Okay, let's continue on now. We're gonna take some of this warm brown and we're gonna do this little container, this little basket. And this also is round, so that just means we wanna see a highlight in the center. And, you know, a highlight in the center means it's just a little darker on the sides. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave that darker on the sides and then we can come back and add some more detail um, to the basket. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the same color now to the mane. I wanna leave this highlight on the top. It just gives the indication that there is light coming down on top and that this, this isn't a sharp point up here. It's sort of giving you the impression that it's rounded.
And again, we're starting out pretty light and then we'll go back over it again if we want to make it darker. Same thing with the tail. You know, the tail is, has a rounded edge, so we're just gonna leave that just a little light on top. And notice, you know, I'm just, I'm trying not to color everything in solid. All of these things, you know, they really, really make a difference. You know, it seems like such a little thing. Oh, just leave a highlight at the top or, you know, don't color everything in solid. It seems like such a little thing, but when you add them all up, uh, it really, really makes a difference. Okay. Starting to take shape here, it's little guy. Uh, so I'm gonna add some detail now to the little basket. And I'm just gonna make some lines here to make it look like a basket. I'm just doing this with my brush and I can do it pretty lightly. And then let's just make a few coming down also. And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna come back in here and get this a little darker underneath uh, where his tail is under here. And then let's just, let's add a little bit to his little hoofs. All right, coming together here. So let's go on and let's add some purple now to this little blanket. And you know, uh, you can see that I'm being really careful not to uh, not to touch any of these lines. I'm really staying, kind of staying in each section. And again, see how light uh, it is to start out. It's just really light. And then once that dries, you can go back over it and uh, you can add more color. So now here's the second layer of color. And again, you can just make it as dark as you want. Just like that. And again, you can come back uh, to it afterwards, you know, at the time, you know, when we're finished, you can come back over it and decide if you want to make it, um, make it any darker. All right, let's keep going. And I'm going to add a little brown to, or a little black to my palette. This is the N25. And any, any black is going to do. We're just going to do his, his little hoofs. want to leave a little just a little highlight um, in there as well just a just a little line you're always uh, going to be happier with your finished project if you do that you know even if it's tiny if you don't color everything in solid it's just it's gonna just turn out um, a little better all right, I'm gonna take my uh, my twin tone now, my dark brown, and I'm just gonna you know darken in this eye, and his his little nostril here. And then just a little bit on the inside of his ear. Okay, let's see. What else do we have to do? Let's add some. Uh, let's add some color now to the um, to the banner. And what should we use here? Let's use let's use the purple. And 
just brush it in. Like so. And what other color? Let's do this blue here. This is a really, really pr pretty blue. This is the 407. Let's use this one. Always dip your brush in water, you know, before you hit the hit the color on your palette and then, you know, dip it in water and then pinch it off. I know I know you can't see that always on the camera, but I'm always pinching my pinching my brush off when I get it into the water. And again, here we go. We can go darker just by doing another uh, pass over it. So cute. We can come back and add some detail to it later too. Uh, I'm going to add a little of this blue uh, in the background before I add in all of my, um, my flowers and foliage. I want to get a little of this background in here, a little sky. Uh, be careful not to touch any of the lines. Uh, you don't want that to bleed out into your really pretty blue that you have in the background here. Okay, I think we are ready to add some florals and some vines to this. Now you can add as much as you want um, when it comes to this part. That is totally up to you. Uh, I'm gonna start out with a little vine kind of crawling up the post. And then I'm gonna add just some little vines to it just kind of growing them out of the end. And just, you know, wherever and however much that you want to add in here. And then I'm just gonna add some water to it, soften it all up. Like so, and then let's add some uh, let's add some florals. So we're gonna use that little filler flower here, and we're gonna use this really bright blue, the 407. And I'm just gonna ink a couple, so just about three of them, and just kind of stamp it, you know, in a little circle. Maybe let me just hit this one more time here. And then add water. Look how pretty that blue is. So, so pretty. I just love this color so much. And you know, just kind of mix it in with all your other colors going on here. And it just, it gives it that really pretty watercolor, um, watercolor look. Okay, let's do, um, let's do some, some of this little flower and I'm just going to use that violet and I don't need I don't need much of the leaves on this I'm just going to use a little bit of the stem and just put a little of this just kind of in here mostly just these just these blooms kind of in here let's just maybe add one more here And then we're adding a little water to it. Just touch it because you don't want to you don't want to lose all the detail of these little flowers. You want to see the um, a little bit of the individual petals, but you do just want to soften them up. And I'm going to make this just really dark right under here. And now that we've got kind of got this done, we can just kind of uh, come on here and add some detail. Uh, to the post. Let 
Now let's add some flowers to, um, to our little basket. So I'm gonna clean off my stamp and I'm gonna do the lighter colors first and that would be this really pretty violet. And I'm just gonna ink this in a circle over here and then I'm gonna clean it off and I'm gonna come back with this really pretty bright blue. Same blue that we used before. And then I'm just gonna add some water to it. And my blue. I'm gonna go back to my little vines Just kind of right up here on the top and in here and then I'm gonna hang my um, my little trailer vine here I'm just gonna just hang it over a basket just like that and maybe we could even do just another one and with these you know, you really just kind of have to hit the individual leaves. You don't have to, you don't have to ink the whole thing because you kind of want those fine lines uh, for the vine. And so we don't want to thicken them up too much by adding too much water. But these up here we can. We kind of blend these out a little bit more. And now let's add our long stem in. So this one, and let's do this violet again. So the bloom in the violet and then the stem in the green. And again, you know, we don't, we don't need a lot of the stem. Let's do one more little floral here. Let's just put this one in right about there. And since I didn't get the stem, I'm just gonna take my green and just draw it in. And then just touch, just touch these. Again, we don't want to lose the detail, but we want to soften it up so that it looks like a watercolor. And then it also changes the shape of the bloom a little bit so that it doesn't look like a stamp. Just a win-win. All right, so we've got those in there. Uh, let's see what else we need to do. Let's get a little bit uh, right here on the side of his head, we're gonna just take a little bit of the vine here and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna turn this around uh, so that I can stamp it this direction. And I'm just gonna take the tip and just get a little bit right here, just on the side of his face. And this one, let me just clean this off here. I'm gonna get just a, like maybe one one of these little blooms here and just hit it three times. So now I can just add a little water to it and add a little water to the leaves. And just got that really cute little um, little bloom right there. So now if you want to, you can add some to the neck uh, that's also really easy to do. We can do it the same way as we did the pole. So that's just the little branch and you can just, you know, add it in. Add your little vines. And then uh, your florals. And this one, maybe we'll do that. Um, Maybe we'll clean this off and do that violet. And then just add water. So it's just stamping, uh, stamping and adding water. Just, just like that. So cute. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just darken this a little bit more. And you know, you can also just take, 
take this little darker color and make some more, you know, pleats in here. Uh, this little, kind of this little fold in here, that can be really dark. Same with this one. And let's just darken these little hoops a little bit more and a little darker. Okay, that looks like it is almost finished. That was quick. I'm just gonna add a little blue line on the basket just to give a little more of a shadow here. A little bit darker underneath the saddle, uh, darker under the tail, under his back, back legs. We can put a, just a little shadow under some of these vines because that will also kind of pop things up. You know, if you just add a little, kind of a little shadow, kind of mirroring um, those vines. And let's just add a little detail to these. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's add just a little bit of white to it. So Dr. P. Martin's white. I'm gonna to switch to my little brush. And I'm just gonna add a little white to the, the blooms here. So just right in here. Kind of pop everything out a little bit. And then we can we can add some detail now to these little um, those little banners. So let's see, where else do we need a little white kind of up in here? I feel like we do. Some little white in here. Uh, we can add just a little white to the hoofs. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Only one thing left to do, and that is to sign and date. And this little composition is finished. Whoops, 2023, you guys, wow. Did I almost mess that up? Uh, one more step. I'm just gonna add a few lines to the mane and the tail. Just kind of darkening those a little bit. And I think that is finished. Turned out so cute. All right, everyone, there you go. That is finished. That's the little, um, that is the floral carousel, number 5752. That is our throwback for the month of February in 2023. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching.